Hey guys, what is up? Thanks so much for tuning in in another episode on my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing a bike light from Gatchelon. This particular model is the V9. Okay, just gonna. This is the V9 CP800 IPX6 bike light. I bought this from Lazada for right around 1,100 pesos, not including the shipping fee. And then I've had this light for about four months now, and I have mixed feelings about this bike, and primarily because of its battery life. But let me discuss the features first, guys, right? So the body is made of aluminum 6063. I don't know exactly what that means, but that's what it's made of. And weight is 125 grams, just with the light, without the locking mechanism. Uh, it's 97 mm by 33 uh 33.8 by 22.8 mm this is ipx6 waterproof meaning it can resist high pressure and heavy sprays of water as well so if you're gonna take this out and then you're gonna bring this to long rides then it will definitely not disappoint you now, there are multiple modes with this light. It has a max lumens of 800 up to 200 meters, 85 degrees yung angle niya. And then let me show you the different light modes here. So you just have to press this button right here, up top. All right, so that's the breathing. And this is the 800 lumens version. Oh, sorry, That's this is the 800 lumens uh, mode. Okay, that's a bit lighter. So, three modes, right? So, breathing, and then to the lowest light, mid, and 800 lumens right there. So, guys, if I take this out on night ride, it definitely right, lights up the road, no problem. Some Sometimes I even get people complaining about the light because it's too bright, so I had to set it on the lowest setting now this will charge you charge this when the this one right here starts flashing red there you go so this one needs charging already now this comes in with the bike light the strap and a very small usb wire just this small so i'm using this standard um charger for your mobile phone you just have to open the contraption right here and this will allow access to the port where the usb gets plugged in all right there you go and just charge it that way there you go so it has 25 mah battery and if you're going to use the 800 lumens mode all the time it's not going to run you that long so if you're for, for longer rides, you might want to opt in with the lower version. I mean, the lowest setting. Now, that's one thing that I'm not really proud of that is Gatchiron bike light, right? So you have to bring extra maybe uh, um, like uh, a charger and and a uh, uh, battery bank. Power bank, there you go. <laughs> A power bank so bring power bank with you if you're gonna take this for more than one day of ride but for you know mid-range ride maybe 50 70 kilometers or 80 maybe or 90 kilometers then this bike will you know this bike light will you know will will do now so let me talk about the lock mechanism here so this this is the lock mechanism now this one right here attaches to your handlebar, right? Then you can open this by just twisting this, all right? So this is to loosen it and then turn clockwise to tighten it. Now it's made of plastic. This one's made of plastic as well. At first I thought it was made of uh, plastic and a combination of rubber, but it seems like it's only made of plastic through, through and through. And then this is the attachment where this light attaches to so let me just show you there you go so this is the lock and then if you want to release it you just have to click this right that right there now it has a 360 degrees rot rotation or swivel so one it's it one it gets once it gets latched 
onto your bike line, uh, onto your handlebar. You can adjust the angle and the direction of the light very comfortably. So really good there, really great adjustability there. And then, yeah, here's my conclusion about the bike light, right? So if you're looking for an affordable and a solid option for a bike light, definitely go with a gadget on one, right? However, if you're gonna opt in for a bike light that will last you longer, then you have to opt in with you know bigger lights. Otherwise, you'd have to settle bringing with you a power bank or a uh, an extra charger, which by the way is always helpful to bring, especially on longer rides, right? And then let me tell you a little bit about, about this as well. So this is the face where the light comes out. And then it has a very small slit right here. Now, the main function of this slit is that when it faces, I mean, any, any motors coming from the side will be able to see you because there's this light leaking out here. So that's a very good, neat feature, safety feature right there. Yeah, just give me, so it says you're made in China. What isn't though, right? Here we go, that's made in China. And then it's 1,100 pesos and then I couldn't really complain. There are cheaper options like the Rock Bros um, headlight, which is right around 2,500 mAh as well for its battery capacity. Isn't really bad and it's rounded. So that's right around 800 pesos. So for 1,100 pesos, I'd definitely go with this one because it has a solid build quality. And then I've already dropped this for like maybe not a couple of times. I can't, I can't be honest with you guys on here, right? Cause otherwise I won't be able to sell this, but, uh, I dropped this and then it actually held well. It's still working fine. And you know, as you can see, it's still working properly. My only problem with this one is the, the, uh, the, the life of the battery once you use the 800 lumens, right? So only opt in with the lowest setting. I mean, even at the lowest setting, guys, it still lights up the road really pretty well. So there you go. There's a, there's a light leak over here. So it's easy for you to be seen from this side. Nice safety feature there, guys. All right, my recommendation is, again, for 1,100 pesos, definitely go with this one. And just choose the lowest light setting if you want it to last longer. Guys, thank you so much. And then I'm going to be reviewing some other stuff today as well. And hope you guys can check it out and leave a like. Uh, press like if you like the video. If you have any comments, let me know. There's a comment section down below. And yeah, subscribe and hit the bell notification for future uploads. Thank you and have a great day. Ride safe.